in this tutorial, we are going to learn custom hooks in React, which sounds scary to some React developers, but it's not. So let's understand it in simple way. So what is custom hook? Custom hooks are basically reusable functions. In simple terms, custom hooks are your own hooks that you create for your own use and you can use them multiple times in your project. For example, you have some logic in which you use one or multiple built-in React hooks and you need to use that logic multiple times in your project. So instead of writing the same long logic in every place, you create your own hook or function which is a custom hook and you use it just like we use other React built-in hooks. Simple as that. Let's create one of the most useful custom hook for fetching data from API. I love this custom hook because I use it a lot in my projects. So here, I create one simple example in which we call API for random users details and display their names with ID. So first of all, I create one state variable called responses and pass an empty array as its initial value. After that, I use use effect hook with empty array dependencies. So it runs only when component gets rendered first time. And in use effect, I fetch data from this API and convert it into JSON format and then set that data in set responses. And after all that, I display that data using map method. Now imagine you want to fetch data from API in 10 to 12 components. So you have to write this code in all of those components which is not a good practice in React. So we will create custom hook for fetching data. So first of all, I create one folder called custom hooks. We will store all our custom hooks in that folder to organize our code which is a good practice for developers. So in this folder, we create a new file called usefetch.js. Always start your custom hook name with use keyword which is a common convention. Now I write RAFCE for functional boilerplate by using this ES7 react extension. So first of all, I cut this state and use effect from this component and paste it into use fetch and import use effect and use state from react library. Now we accept one parameter in this function called URL and we use this URL variable at the place of API. So whenever we use use fetch, we just have to pass API in this function. And here, we return this responses state variable and save it. Now back to our app component and we just write use fetch and react auto import that from our custom hooks folder. So in this use fetch function, we can pass any API and we can store that array value in data variable. And at last, we change this responses with data variable. Now I remove use effect and use state from here. We don't need them. Now save the changes and take a look. We get our data. So we successfully create our first and most useful custom hook. You can see our code looks neat and clean. So this is just one example. Now it's on you how to use your logic for different use cases. So try to think and apply your logic and create custom hooks which will help you in your future projects. So let's recap what we learned. Custom hooks are your logic which you created as reusable function. And in that, you can use multiple hooks and create something that will help you to skip repeated tasks in your project. Also, you can simply use that custom hooks in your different projects. I hope you understand what is custom hooks and how to create them. So see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.